What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general oracle card reading for Sonic Cancer. This can resonate if you have any uh, Cancer, any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, like I said, this could resonate if you have cancer or any aspects of your charts. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at a 10, 000, oh, I'm sorry, at 11,880 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to row five. The link's in the search box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you choose to donate. Thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Okay, so um, this is for April of 2022. This could resonate if you have cancer or any aspects of your charts, but it's very important to only take the messages to resonate and leave the rest. Um, I received uh, several channel messages as I was meditating on your April 2022 uh, energy uh, for sign of cancer. So I'm going to deliver them. Spirit messages, you have sign of cancer. The first channel message I received was HIV positive. It's what I heard, HIV positive. The second one, I heard moving far location soon. And the second, um, I'm, I'm sorry, the third channel message I received was um, about to clean house. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. So HIV positive, uh, moving far location soon, and about to clean house. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if it resonates for you, Cancer. Um, now, you know, energies can be reversed. So, you know, with the HIV positive, I mean, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. Hopefully it's not you. Um, but, you know, there is treatment for those kind of things. But you have to, you have to get treatment, you know, for not, I mean, to help, just saying. Um, the moving far location soon, I feel that could be you or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's about to move far locations, um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, and um, about to clean house, I feel that could be literal or, mer or metaphorical, um, physical cleaning house, or cleaning house with the situation. Uh, maybe your position of high authority, I feel for some you might be positions of high authority, and you uh, are noticing there's some, like some serious freaking uh a situation that needs to be resolved or handled and you're about to clean house clean house like metaphorically is what i'm feeling for some but you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you cancer spirit messages you have for sign cancer okay three okay i was taking two but in some of them i got three so Heartache over what you no longer have. Family wishes come true. Keep your life in balance. Dove spirit be peace. Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. Summer cycles. Number 21 or 32 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 21 or 32 could be possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible, um, yeah, 21 or 32. You have double air sign energy um, in your cards. So for some, you could be dealing with the air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or maybe two plus air signs. You have double air sign energy in here. So for some, I feel it could be two plus air signs you're dealing with possibly. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Dove spirit, be peace. A particular cancer knows they're going to be at peace by moving. They know it's going to be hard, but they know they need to do it for themselves. An air sign is very significant in this air, uh, in this cancer moving. 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So air sign energy strong. Um, one of you guys definitely is moving. Um, and I feel it's far locations. Um, I heard, um, you know, you're going to have peace by moving. You know, you're going to have peace by moving. Um, you're doing it for yourself, like self-care. I heard you know it's going to be hard, but you know you need to do it for yourself. And absolutely, if you feel you need to do that, um, you go with your bad self. You have to do what's best for you, for real. So kudos to whoever that's for. Um, I heard it's because of an air sign, basically. So maybe somebody has been bullying, berating you, has harassing you, um, um, or you just don't get, don't get along with them in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, one of you guys is moving for locations. That it might be you that's moving for locations to get away from this air sign. I'm feeling for some. For some, you could just be maybe moving out of, if you live in the home with them, you could just be moving out, possibly. You, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug in your own life, how it resonates. But some kind of air sign energy, you definitely do not get along with. I'll tell you that for at least one of you guys. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, whether it's just moving out of a home you live, uh, used to live in with them, or you still do. Um, or you're moving far locations to get away from BS, however that resonates. But I think it's going to give you peace. By getting away from this air sign. Absolutely. Um, Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. A particular cancer reader is very connected in with source. They are about to receive very interesting detailed messages for their collective. Take these messages and deliver them wisely. Wow, cancer, this is great. So whoever you are, your cancer reader, I'll tell you that. Uh, tarot card reader or life has spiritualist, or whatever you call yourself, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, but you're definitely connected in with source, and you do some kind of light side spiritual work, whatever you do, whether you call yourself a tarot card reader, or life side spiritualist, what, 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 whatever you call yourself, psychic, what have you. Um, but um, I heard you're about to get some interesting detailed messages from source. So source, you know, I get my messages from source too. Um, you're you're high up in the spiritual realm i'm feeling so you know exactly what i mean when i say source so you're about to get interesting oh interesting detailed messages from source i heard i heard um deliver them to your collective wisely so i feel you probably got a large collective i didn't hear you did but i feel you probably do um there's a reason you're about to get delivered these messages so i'm feeling your collective probably really needs to hear these messages is what i'm feeling um, kudos to you, ma'am. You're a femme tarot card uh, cancer reader. Um, let Spirit be your guide. That's Source about to give you some interesting detailed messages there. Um, that's really beautiful. You go with your bad self. And a particular masculine cancer, high vibrational, has really been meditating, getting in touch with the spiritual realm. They are about to make huge power play moves soon in their career. It's going to shake things up in a huge way. Very high vibrational. Wow. Okay. I'm pulling a lot of high vibrational people in uh, for this one. Okay, sir. Whoever you are. Wow. This is beautiful. So very high vibrational Cancer masculine, uh, very high position of authority, whoever you are, and whatever sector you work in. I didn't hear specifically what sector you work in, only you know your story, not anybody else, but you're very high vibrational and you're very high position of authority, whatever, I mean, whatever you do. Um, but you've been meditating and getting in touch with source. So you have been med. I don't know if this is a new thing. It sounds like this might be a new thing for you. I feel it might be meditating and, um, I think you might receive spiritual downloads, sir. Um, I think, or you're trying to. However, that resonates. Um, I didn't receive spiritual downloads until two years ago, for anybody who doesn't know my story. 2020. Um, I didn't want them. Um, I was a very 3D person before 2020. Very 3D. 
um, very, my whole life's changed in the course of two years, but it really has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. It really has in hindsight, 2020 it really has, um, it has, but you've been meditating. I think you've been trying to receive messages, downloads from the spiritual realm, or you might have been only, you know, your story, not anybody else, but for some of you, you might have been receiving them. Um, you're very intellectual. Um, you're very high position authority. So you don't just get that way by not being smart. And that's just the truth. Um, so I feel you're very highly intellectual. And um, I think you are receiving downloads. I do. Let spirit be your God. I think the spirit is your God. I do. And I think meditation might be a new thing for you. Um, but I think it's working to your favor. Because I heard basically... Um, you're about to make some huge power play moves in your career soon. It's going to shake things up. Um, I think you highly intuitive and you know it's going to shake things up, but I think you know it's going to shake things up and I think you want it to shake things up. It's exactly what I think, sir. Um, maybe things need to be shook up. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, this is really beautiful, but you've been meditating. I think in your personal time, your free time and I think that is a new thing for you. And I think it's been giving you peace and harmony in your, in yourself. That's exactly what I think. And it gives me peace and harmony um, for me. Um, you go with your bad self, sir, whoever you are. Um, very high position, high authority cancer. Um, wow. 40 and above. Cancer masculine. 40 and above cancer masculine is what I just heard. 40 and above cancer masculine. You go with your bad self, sir. Wow, that's that's beautiful. I'm serious. Wow. Both of you guys, Cancer Reader, ma'am, and Cancer Masculine, sir. Those are beautiful. And I think it's both going to give you guys peace. Um, the spiritual downloads for your collective, ma'am, and um, the meditation. I'm feeling new meditation practices and new, possibly new spiritual practices here, sir. Um only you know your story, not anybody else. Summer. A particular cancer's life will be completely different by the summertime. Completely different. And a feminine energy's life. Completely different. Both in very positive ways. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So a cancer's life is going to be completely different by the summertime. We're in March 27, 2022 right now. Um, so summer is like June, June-ish, beginning of summer. Um, so, you know, um, April, May, June, so like three-ish three, three -ish months by now. Um, so your life, cancer, is going to be completely different by the summertime, at least one of you guys is, and a feminine energy's life by the summertime. I hope are both in positive ways. So it sounds like something very positive is going to happen um, to you, Cancer, from now till summer and this feminine energy's life from now till summer. Um, whatever that is and how that plugs in. Maybe you guys do it together and it, you know, makes both of your life go up or it's separate. I, I feel like you go both ways. Um, however that resonates. But um, some kind of summer, you know, by the summertime energy. So I'm um, thinking like June. June, July, August is summertime months. So you plug it in how it resonates. One particular cancer is going to de develop feelings for someone they never thought they would. Wow, I heard one particular cancer is going to develop feelings for someone they never thought they would. So if that resonates for you, cancer, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like this is going to happen and it's not, it's going to take you by surprise. Um, the developing feelings for this person. Now it could be masculine or feminine. Um, you could be masculine or feminine. They could be masculine or femme. 
but it's somebody it sounds like that's going to enter your life or has already entered your life and you're you haven't developed like romantical feelings from them, for them yet whether it's a new person or a person that's been around for a hot minute but it sounds like you're going to i uh, heard it's going to take you by surprise so maybe by summer i'm feeling is when the feelings are going to develop or you start recognizing you have feelings or maybe start dating by summer if it's that deep i mean i'm not sure only you know your story not anybody else um i feel like maybe for some by summertime you date this person or you ask them out on a date or something of that nature um something of that nature let me see if i hear anything else Sunflowers are very significant to one feminine energy, and you know this. And one cancer, lilies are significant to you, and you will open up with this feminine energy and tell them why they are significant, significant to you. Wow, these are very detailed messages. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so there's a... At least for one of you guys, the feminine energy is very significant or is going to become very significant in your life. For some, she might already be significant. For some, she might be a new person that's about to enter your life and become significant. Only you know your story, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, you know sunflowers or you're about to learn. Either you already know or you're about to learn sunflowers are very significant to one particular femme energy. Sunflowers, just saying. Um, and lilies are significant to you, Cancer, and you are about to share with this feminine energy why lilies are significant to you. So it sounds like you're about to open up to this feminine energy is what I'm trying to say here. Now, it could be on a platonic level. It could be on a um, opening up like a personal relationship or attempting to or just sharing something personal about yourself. Um, however that resonates. Um, only you know story, not anybody else, but that really is very beautiful. I feel for some, you you either know that this person likes sunflowers or you're about to learn it and maybe you're going to bring them a sunflower or sunflowers or a, a bouquet of sunflowers. Um, for some, it could be on a, you know, a friendly level or a romantic level or what have you. Um, and then you opening up about why the lilies are significant to you, I think is you opening up about something special to you which is beautiful so that that's beautiful wow cycles cycles have been stuck for a, a long time in certain situations for a cancer some of the cancer has intentionally kept them stuck some in love some in work but they are about to become unstuck and they're about to go quick some in love some in professional very professional holy crap so you plug it in how it resonates okay so for some of you some of you guys cycles have been stuck basically they have been stuck cycles reversed um Trust me, I, I know, <laughs> I know cycles can be stuck. Trust me, I lived in a freaking, I felt like a matrix, a vortex, of cycle being stuckness for like freaking two years. And I'm just serious about that. I thought, oh my gosh. Um, but they can be in stuck, but just, I digress. But what I'm trying to say is some of you guys have experienced cycles being stuck too. Some of you, you didn't want them to be stuck. Um, some you intentionally made them stuck. So some of you cancers, you intentionally made the cycle stuck. Some, they were stuck and you you did not want them stuck. But however that resonates, they're about to be unstuck. Whether you want them unstuck or not, um, whoever this is resonating with, whether you intentionally made them stuck or whether you didn't is what I'm trying to say. They're about to be unstuck. Um, some, you made them stuck. You intentionally made them stuck. So you were the sticker. Um, some in love, some in professional, but some you didn't make them stuck and they just were stuck, but they're about to come unstuck. Whether you made them stuck or not is what I'm trying to say. Um, some it's in professional and some it's in, um, personal love, I heard love. So 
dating department. Um, or maybe for some, you're in a miserable ass marriage and you're about to get divorced. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates, but somehow the cycles are about to be unstuck, baby. Um, some you're about to unstick them, I feel. Some you had no control and power over mid stuck anyways, and they're about to be unstuck. So you plug it in how it resonates, but cycles are about to go. They're about to go fast. Fear, heartache over what you no longer have. A particular cancer. Young officer is about to be very, very, very shocked of series of chain of events that are about to occur. Between a masculine energy and a feminine energy, they're going to be secretly jealous. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates? Yikes. Um, maybe you, okay, you're a younger cancer officer, I heard. So like officer of the law is what I'm feeling, but you're younger. So you're 35 or below, um, cancer feminine, cancer feminine. So you're cancer fem, 35 or below uh, officer of the law. Um, I heard you're about to be very jealous between some kind of events that happen between the masculine and feminine energy. It's going to make you very, very jealous. So maybe you wanted this masculine or this feminine energy uh maybe that i don't know whatever events transpire between them is what i'm trying to say some kind you're a younger cancer officer fem it sounds like police woman um but something's gonna happen between a masculine and a fem somebody else a masculine and fem i don't know if they're officers or not uh, i didn't hear they were just two other people, but you are specifically, I'm pulling you in. You're a 35 or below cancer fem officer, um, but you're going to be very jealous of this. Um, something's going to happen between them, those two. I don't know if it's platonic. I don't know if it's romantic. I don't know if they just go get a beer. I mean, I don't know, but something's going to happen between them, uh, between those two, and it's going to make you very jealous. So I'm thinking this might be your ex. Oh, Hold on a second. Holy crap. Wow. I think this might be your ex, or it might be somebody you wanted to date, or it might be something just very, very positive that maybe you wanted to happen to you, and you're pissed because it's happening to one of these people or both of these people. Um, you have heartache over what you no longer have. So I'm thinking maybe you wanted to date one of these people. And maybe they're going to date or they're talking about dating or they're just talking period and you don't want that to happen i mean somehow there's some jealous judy energy over here and i'm just serious cancer femme officer of the law 35 hour below between these two people i don't know why i'm pulling this in but i am so you plug it in how it resonates man holy crap i think you wanted to date one of these people is exactly what i think or it might be rex in some shape form or fashion Maybe they're talking to somebody new. I, you only you know your story, not anybody else. Just saying. Someone is about to pack up and leave by night. about to completely leave a younger cancer it is about to shock the hell out of them about to about to move states oh my god whoa oh that's terrible that's terrible whoa so you plug it in how it resonates so one of you guys okay younger 35 and below cancer energy now you can be masculine or feminine whoever this is um, I didn't hear if you were masculine or feminine, but you're 35 or below too. I heard, it sounds like somebody lives with you. It sounds like a romantical partner or you wanted them to be, um, is what I'm feeling. 
that's, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Uh, but you plug it in your life, how it resonates. But I heard they're just about to up and leave. They're about to up and leave. I heard move states by night. So it sounds like they're, they have premeditated. They probably packed all their shit and stuffed it underneath the bed and premeditated. So you go to work or you go wherever you go, they're deucing it out. They're either catching a ride or they're driving the hell away. I heard it's going to, um, it's going to, um, break your heart. And yeah, I mean, hopefully they leave a damn note. I mean, whoever this is, they're so damn flighty, they probably won't leave a note, just to be honest. They're so freaking flighty, they probably won't even leave a note. And I hate to say that, but I'm serious. Um, this is terrible. I'm sorry for whoever this is for. I can see where it would give you lots of heartache. And I really am sorry, sir or ma'am, if this resonates for you. You're 35 or below, masculine or feminine. I think it's a partner or you wanted them to be a partner. But honestly, this might be a blessing in disguise down the line because really, do you really picture yourself a life with this person if they just up and fucking leave and don't even leave you a, even a, a bye? Hey, see ya. Uh, never going to see you a day in my life again, but see ya. Bye. No, I mean, they're, they're obviously flighty. You deserve much better than that, sir or ma'am. And I'm just serious about that. Much freaking better. Much better. I feel like somebody needs to hear that. And I'm serious. That's terrible. That, to me, I feel this might be a blessing in disguise. Yes, it's going to hurt like hell, but it'll be better for you down the line. And I'm just serious, okay? Ooh. Family wishes come true. A particular family reunion is coming up. A particular family family reunion is coming up is what I just heard. Um, so that's at least one of you guys. So maybe you're happy about this family reunion. Maybe you're planning it. Uh, maybe you're helping plan it. Maybe you um, are happy to go. Um, it sounds like you're happy about the reunion. Some people... They're, you know, they're like family reunions. They're, they're like, ah, so, but you sound happy about it. So, um, some kind of family reunion, uh, energy and you were happy about this. Some, a very nice piece of furniture is about to be delivered to your home. It's going to make you very happy. Okay, and for some of you guys, a very nice piece of furniture is about to be delivered to your home, and it's going to make you very happy. So it's going to make your family happy. It's going to make you happy. Well, you go with your bad self. Scales, keep your life in, keep your life in balance. A particular cancer masculine is about to lay the laws of justice down in a huge way. A huge fire has already been lit under his ass and it's about to really come out very soon. Oh my God. Whoa. I feel the energy off this. This is strong. Good Lord. Um, a particular cancer masculine is about to lay the laws of justice down. I think... Are you a judge, sir? I didn't hear you were a judge, but I feel you might be. You are about to lay the laws of justice down. So, I mean, I feel you're either a judge or you are a... I feel you're a judge. Lay the laws of justice down? Uh, and you have the Libra energy with the scales. I think you're a judge. Um, I didn't hear you were. I have been pulling cancer judge energy in here the last couple months. I feel you're a judge. If you're not a judge, you plug it in, how it resonates, wherever the hell you're going to lay the laws of justice down. But I feel for some, you might be a judge, and I'm just serious. But I heard you're about to lay the laws of justice down. Um, I heard a huge fire has been lit in your ass, under your ass previously, and it is basically hasn't went away. Um, and is what it sounds like. And you are about to do the damn thing. And that could have been the cleaning the house energy from one of the previous spiritual downloads, possibly. Um I feel you about doing the workplace, and I think with the gavel, psh, 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 and I'm si I mean, I'm not trying to be funny. I am serious. I'm serious about this. Um, 
Holy crap. You plugging in how it resonates. It is about to piss an air sign off, but you know this. It is about to piss an air sign off, but you know this. Oh, my goodness. And you have double air sign energy up here. Oh, my goodness. So you're about to lay the laws of justice down. It sounds like in a very non-abuse of power kind of way, a very fair, just way a judge should be kind of way. Um, I just want to add that. I really do feel that. Um, go, you go with your bad self, sir, whoever you are. That's really beautiful. And I'm serious about that. That's truly beautiful. Um, that really is. Heard it's going to piss an air sign off in a huge way, but you know this. Um, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Time to do the right thing. And balance the scales of justice. Time to do the right thing and balance the scales of justice. And many other series of chain events behind the scenes. Another air sign is going to be completely pissed. But this cancer is on a mission. Oh, shit. Whoa. So you, you, ooh, cancer. I think you're a judge. I think you're a judge or you might be something else. You plug it in, how it resonates. But I feel for some of your judges. And I'm just serious. You're very high position, high authority. You have the power I feel not abuse of power in this situation. I'm serious. Um, to do something huge. Um, I'm feeling with a gavel for some. But for some, it could be something else. However, that plugs in your life. One air sign is going to be pissed. It's something you're about to do in your work. So whether you're a judge or not, it's something you're about to do in your work. And it's big and you're a high position of authority, whoever you are here. Um, it's involving justice for sure. You have the scales energy with the justice card. And I heard justice in the spiritual downloads. One air sign, it sounds like, is involved in your workplace when you do this. And then when you're done doing whatever the hell you're about to do, behind the scenes, you're about to start create other series of chain of events. So you're a power play mover. You're, you're high level and power play mover. You know what you're doing. You're going to create other negative series of chain events for another air sign. So you're dealing with at least two air signs. Wow. And that's double air sign energy up in here. Whoever you are, holy crap. I heard a fire's been lit under your ass and it's still there. So whatever you, you haven't done it yet is what I'm trying to say. Whatever this is, you haven't done it yet. In your workplace and behind the scenes in your workplace with the other air sign. One, it sounds like it's, face-to-face -face in your workplace with an air sign. One, it sounds like it's behind the scenes creating negative series of chain of events for another air sign, if that makes sense. That's what I'm getting from the spiritual downloads. You can go back and check the messages, um, but that's what I'm feeling, uh, evaluating these spiritual downloads. Double air sign energy. Wow. Holy crap. Whoever you are, you are plugged. You are, I feel you're highly connected in with source. Sir, um, you're a cancer masculine, whoever you are here. And I feel you might resonate with the previous downloads when I was doing this one about meditating behind the scenes. I think you have been meditating. I think you've been getting messages from source yourself. And I'm serious as a heart attack. I do. I do, I do, I do. But you only, you know your story, not anybody else. That's just my intuition and what I'm feeling here, okay? Wow. I heard it's going to go very negatively for the other air sign behind the scenes. And whatever you're about to do behind the scenes, it's about to create negative series of chain events for them. But I heard it's going to uh, balance the scales. Um, so I feel the air sign behind the scenes has done something very, very shysty and shady. And you know this. This is exactly what I think. You're highly intuitive. I think you know, you know this. You know this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, masculine, possible judge, purveyor of justice over here, possibly with a gavel. And I'm, I mean, I'm serious, but there's one air sign. You're about to do it in your workplace. Very high position, a high authority, possible judge, cancer. Um, balancing scales of justice up in here. And I'm serious. 
So one air sign is going to get it in your workplace. One's going to get it behind the scenes is what it sounds like through many series of chain of events that you're going to help create is what I'm feeling. Here. Let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap, this was a reading. The Hamptons mimosas. Oh shit! Wow. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Never, not that I've ever been to the Hamptons, but it sure sounds nice. Um, the Hamptons and mimosas is what I just heard. The Hamptons and mimosas. Um, now I've never been to the Hamptons. I've heard of the Hamptons. Um, I heard it's real nice. Um, maybe one of you guys has a vacation home in the Hamptons or you know somebody that resides in the Hamptons or you're going to vacation to the Hamptons or you're going to travel to the Hamptons. Something about the Hamptons and mimosas. Maybe one of you guys like mimosas. They're they're tasty, just saying. Um, or you know somebody that likes mimosas or you're going to make mimosas or learn how to make mimosas. How that resonates. Heard the Hamptons and mimosas. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, cancer. Okay, well, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody, everyone make wonderful choices and namaste.